Forget flat Earth. Let me introduce you to Earth shaped like a pizza. <laughs> it might look delicious, but it would be a scorching, violent, breathtaking place. Would you dare to live there? There could be anywhere from 10 sextillion to 1 septillion exoplanets in the observable universe, and approximately zero of those are shaped like a flat planetary pizza. It's gravitationally impossible for a planet to form in a shape like this, because when planets form, they tend to clump all the rock and dust around them evenly in all directions. The most oddly shaped exoplanet scientists have discovered is in the shape of an egg. This exoplanet is called WASP-12b, and it orbits a distant star some 1,200 light years away from us. Now, the reason WASP-12b is shaped this way is due to an overbearing proximity to its star. Yeah, WASP's star pulls on the planet with its enormous gravity, stretching it in the process. But flat planets? Well, if they do exist, we haven't found one yet. But hey, this is what if anything is possible. Even Earth-shaped like a mouth-watering pepperoni-covered pie. A pizza-shaped Earth wouldn't be much different from a flat Earth. It would have continents scattered around like pizza toppings and a crust of mountains around its edge. Mmm, this is making me hungry. If this slice of planetary pie is anything like what the Flat Earthers consider a flat Earth to be, a pizza-shaped Earth would be in for a wild ride. Yeah, Flat Earthers don't believe in gravity. They believe in universal acceleration. They think that all planets constantly accelerate upward through space at 9.8 meters per second squared. That means that every second, our flavorful pizza-shaped Earth would move faster and faster. It would start at 9.8 meters per second, and then the next second, it would move at 19.6 meters per second, then at 29.4 meters per second, and so on. This acceleration would be like a new gravity, preventing everything on its surface from flying away into space. But there's a problem. Pizza-shaped or not, Earth is four and a half billion years old, and that's a lot of seconds. After four and a half billion years of constant acceleration, the pizza-shaped Earth would move at about this speed. Yeah, that is 4.63 billion times faster than the speed of light. Let that number sink in for a moment. And moving on. Not only does that violate the laws of physics, require infinite energy, and shred this pie-shaped Earth into atoms, but it would also break space-time itself. But hey, this might be one way to invent time travel. Luckily for you down on Earth, it wouldn't mean instant death. As soon as Earth approached the speed of light, time dilation would kick in. For you and everyone else on Earth, time would come You'd be trapped in one moment, forever and ever. But all of this is physically impossible. Gravity is real. And as far as real science goes, well, let's just say things would get out of hand quickly. If we take a look at the entire pizza Earth, the center of gravity would be right here in the middle. At this point, gravity would feel like a regular Earth's gravity. But further from this center, gravity would start pulling you sideways and downward at the same time. At the edge of this Earth pizza, it would pull on you almost horizontally. Then it would get weaker and weaker closer to the crust. Now, you could jump a lot higher and scale those mountains at the edge more easily due to the weaker gravity. It'd kind of feel like you're in a Dune movie sand everywhere. Gravity would pull all of Earth's oceans closer to the center. 
This would be the best place to live on a pizza-shaped Earth because it would pretty much be like living on a regular sphere-shaped Earth. The oceans would regulate the climate around this area, and it'd be pretty balmy. And around the edges, it would be mostly rivers, lakes, and severe dust storms. Yeah, the further from the center of this hot mess of a pie you get, the weather would get incredibly worse. As the winds are pulled inward to the center, they would create constant storms. The edges of this pizza earth would be cold and dry. Mmm, cold pizza. Mm, excuse me. The atmosphere would be thinner here, so you'd have trouble catching your breath. Living on the edge of this pizza earth wouldn't be much different from living on Mars. I don't know why you would want to settle there, but if you did, you'd have to build a reinforced, tilted house to account for the change in gravity. Another option would be a semi-underground home. Or, if you want to get futuristic, maybe build a geodesic dome like this one. Either way, your home would need to be able to withstand harsh weather conditions, like dust storms and extreme temperatures, while you'd have to adjust to living without a sufficient breathable atmosphere. Yikes, not fun. Now, if Earth was shaped like a slice of pizza rather than the whole pie, well, the gravity would pull towards its center right here. This planetary slice would need to be thicker to maintain some geological stability. If the pizza Earth was too thin, it would lose its magnetic field and all its atmosphere, all the while collapsing under its own weight. Now, in order to stand a chance on this delicious Earth, you'd really need the magnetic field. Without it, you'd get cooked by extreme solar radiation. And you'd also suffocate because a magnetic field holds a planet's atmosphere in place, and that includes your oxygen. Now, to keep a proper internal structure with a magnetic field and a breathable atmosphere, well, this slice of a planet would need to be at least 6,000 kilometers thick. That's about half as wide as our round Earth. And even then, you still might get cooked. That is, if you believe the flat Earth theories. All because, according to the flat Earthers, the sun wouldn't be like the big old star we know and love. On this pizza Earth, the sun would be tiny and hang much closer to the surface. It would be so bright and so close that it would be emitting immense amounts of solar radiation. Now, this would create hot spots directly beneath the star. If you think summers are hot now, well, on this pizza Earth, it would be literally hell. At night, things would cool off a little, but as soon as the first rays of sunshine hit your face in the morning, well, you better be wearing a fire protection suit. But that's if our cosmic pie was more like a flat Earth, which we know is not physically possible. Sorry, flat earthers, sorry. Here's a more realistic take on the pizza Earth. It would still orbit the sun, and as it would rotate on its axis, all of this would create seasons and a day-night cycle, so you'd be all good there. And the moon would revolve around this pizza Earth, keeping the tidal forces in check. It really doesn't sound so bad until you start thinking about climate. Just like on a whole pizza-shaped Earth, the center area on a pizza slice Earth would have a mild climate, as all the oceans would be pulled there. Now, closer to the edges, gravity would get weaker, and the atmosphere would get thinner, and the land would get drier, and this would be an area of extreme dust storms and harsh temperatures. And since the middle of this new Earth would be covered in ocean, you'd be forced to live on the continents scattered around the edges, unless you want to live underwater. Life on this Earth wouldn't be anything like what it used to be. I mean, at this point, you might as well go settle on Mars, right? But that's a story for another What If.